Yes. Hello, welcome to the weekly uh, mobile support meeting for Mozilla. This is where we talk Woo. about support for Firefox for Android and Firefox OS. And we connect on everything that's happening in the field and uh, all the new stuff that's coming so that we can make strategy. So we do have a new Etherpad link for this meeting that we can put into the channel. I'll put it into the Sumo channel now. We are on Air Mozilla, so this will be broadcast for other Mozillians. Um, thank you, Richard, and uh, Satdev and everyone for helping to organize this meeting and putting up the agenda, which is still a little bit um, empty. I know I had a previous action item to get 1.2 on my Geeks phone, which is still open. I have not done it yet. Um, we are still stabilizing 1.2. On uh, the release meetings this week, um, I think we're still finishing up. We still have some blockers, um, 30, I think, reported, but we were in the burn down, uh, final burn down, I think, for 1.2 and 1.3. These things are happening in parallel. We do not have an update from QA today. Uh, Firefox OS and Android news section. All right, so we don't have any new countries this week. Like, <laughs> week. what? Uh, Another week on a new country? <laughs> but we do have uh, version 1.1 of Firefox OS rolling out in Poland. I think we, um, TCL is throttling back or up. I do not know which one of these mm -hmm. is slower slowing it down but we did have a few um reports of some issues with contacts and with restarts that we saw in the um polish forum a couple of different polish forums in the polish mobilizers group so they're going to slow slow down their rollout and, and take a look at that so thanks to everyone in poland who's reporting issues to mozilla on the forums really appreciate your help and to all of the Polish contributors who helped me yesterday post to the forum uh, so that I could get some more information. I did get some good details from um, some of our users there that I'll pass on to the release team. Um, so that's version 1.1 rollouts. Um, the other newsworthy things this week are that at least three of us on this call have our parents involved in this project now yay <laughs> uh -oh. it's like firefox on ralph's mom has a phone my mother got a phone this week oh, um, <laughs> she called me for support yesterday um has <laughs> got her mom roped into feedback re reading feedback uh, so patrick and roland you gotta get your folks involved <laughs> Not yet. I, I don't know about that. Like, uh, it I already have, I already answer enough Firefox questions from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd have enough time to work. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's going to be interesting with my mom. She's learning to type on the phone. I think that's the biggest challenge for her is she just doesn't push the buttons hard enough. Um, but we had a good support call yesterday where I got her through and, um, she really would like a book about it that she could read. Uh, so anyways, I thought that was, um, if you have more feedback from your folks, Ralph, I don't know if you want to share any early feedback from your moms about using, uh, Firefox OS. Yeah. Uh, first, I mean, she was she was really extremely extremely excited because uh, it's her first smartphone, so it's just like the audience that we're looking for. Um, and uh, but it's like you said, uh, her biggest problem was well, just getting personally. Used to I've been typing. using my uh, LG that I got last week. I've been using it for six days now, and haven't given up 
uh, it's been working great. I've uh, been keeping a lot of notes, so I'll eventually, uh, I, my plan to do a blog about it and talk about what I like and what, what I need help with. Yeah, I, I'd like to build on this. I'm uh, I'm very happy with my LG as well. So I uh, I'm usually the one criticizing things, but uh, this time <laughs> uh, I am uh, I am quite uh, quite happy with it. It's just that it's you know like uh, the the volume. It's uh, it's too loud. I don't know. Even if I put it on almost really? silent, it's like today I got a ring and the whole office knew about it. So <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the only that's the only concern. Other than this. It's very good. Uh, so what is the saying? If it's too loud, you're too old? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hermina, uh, do you get uh, 3G and 4G uh, in Europe? Yes, I do. Through the LG? Okay. Of course she does, because I, Europe I has good frequency. Not for about 4G, sorry. <laughs> So the answer is yes, you get 4G. Yes, I, I, I'm not sure about 4G, this is what I was saying. I For sure it's 3G, but I have to check for 4G oh. because I, I'm not sure. So 4G, you would be the H sign um, mm -hmm. or yeah, yeah, 3.5G. 3.5. Ah, so the phone I gave my mom is I ordered a new one, a new ZT open, um, like just a couple weeks ago off of eBay, and she gets the H. But mine, I don't get it. Um, so I don't know, if maybe something changed, but she, it's not actually 1.1. It's still 1.0. Are you well, on the same I carrier? have 4G. Look, same, same so you, carrier. Can you see it? Oh, you can't. Yeah. Yes, I can yeah. see it. Yeah. Which carrier are you, is your mom on? Which carrier are you on, Michelle? We're on the same one. We're both on the T Mobile. <laughs> I'm on AT&T. I'm on AT&T and I get H. Oh, Maybe it's my plan. Maybe I have a bad plan. Probably. I have the cheapest possible plan you can have. No data at all. So I never, I barely even use it. She doesn't use it either. But she did get the H anyway. I expected it to be 1.1. I really, I opened the box and turned it on and, and I was disappointed it's still 1.0. So. Uh, Rachel, welcome. We're in the we're in the 30-minute mobile support meeting. Thanks for joining us again. Um, tick, 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 tick. And um, we're talking about roping in our parents, like like the Firefox 1.0 one, uh, 1 days, where you go and install it on their machine, and but we're just giving them phones for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> or Thanksgiving, or whatever. Monica, or whatever you, you celebrate. Um, it's a good stocking stuffer. And Ralph, um, I'm going to let Ralph talk again uh, about his mom's feedback. She's excited because it's her first smartphone, my mom's first smartphone too. So she's also excited and determined. She is determined to learn it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, her first uh, feedback and her first real frustration was with the keyboard. Uh, it, it was taking her a long time to figure out how to, how to use the keyboard. Um, and once I put the uh, the vibration uh, feedback and the sound feedback, uh, that helps. That helped a little bit according oh, to her. Okay. So that's a good um, you know, thing to try maybe for somebody that's that's not very used to the uh, to the touch keyboard. Um, and then there were uh, some issue with the Facebook app um, that it on the photos when you tried to share, it wasn't showing Facebook anymore. Uh, but then uninstalling and reinstalling the Facebook app, uh, that helped. Um, okay, yeah, great. So far, she's loving it. Great. Uh, sharing pictures, yes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, um, so thinking about this, and Hermina and I had Think Tank last week, and Vision, and we're just thinking about, you know, in this model, you know, when your parent calls you, has a problem with the phone, wouldn't it be awesome? Like, this is just thinking big vision, future, and this could be for Android, too, if someone has a problem with um, a Mozilla product on mobile, could they just get you, just get the person that they know could help them instantly um, with that problem. 
like, yes, they could make a call for you, but could you just share your screen with them and remotely fix the problem for them? Uh, that? Like, that would be awesome. Cool could that be? Um, this is an idea that came out of the summit with Together JS. So we're kicking it around and um, it's sort of once you start thinking about it as a way of doing community support, it can, it's pretty exciting. So just to give you a little um, peek into the kinds of things we're thinking about, you can think about this model with your, your buddy um, that you're giving a phone to this holiday season um, and how you can help them to learn it. And, and so that's what Hermine and I were talking about last week. Uh, the other thing, that's that's sort of the differentiation goals that we have for 2014 and then uh, also scaling. So we have a bunch of partnerships um, with, with more carriers and um, hardware OEMs. And I'm sure we'll see um, more announcements like we had last year at MWC, but we'll have, we'll continue to grow things now that we're in we were launched in like 10 countries. We'll continue to scale next year too. So put your brain on, you know, how to scale support <clears throat> and give us your ideas about that. And also think about our constraints. So, so that's what sort of top of mind. Um, I'll put that in the etherpad. Scale and differentiate. That's what we want to do um, from our perspective. Uh, scaling support and doing support that's different and mind-blowing and great for mobile. Better mobile support than ever. Uh, that's what we want to do. So do we have um, feedback summary quickly for Firefox OS this week? What's showing up in our channels other than what we talked about with 1.1 rollout? How's feedback going in um, Brazil? and our other new markets, places like um, with Spanish, I guess, is in particular, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, German. They are, they are doubling our feedback, actually. You know what, what happens now? So usually we were at 900, 1,000 pieces of feedback in input only. And now I was looking today, after only 11 days, we have already 1,000 pieces of feedback. So I, I would expect you know, to see at least uh, the double of uh, the double number, you know, like to, to see 2000 feedback or something like this by the end of the month. Um, and I'm saying 11 days because, you know, we are pulling out that report from the 9th till the 9th. So that's yeah. why it's just 11 days so far. But it's, uh, it's great. And we've seen, we're seeing a lot of uh, Spanish and Portuguese feedback. We started seeing more Portuguese feedback than, uh, than before. Spanish is still a uh, top, uh, top contributor, to say, to put it like this. <laughs> um, and from Spain, we didn't get any, uh, from Spain, from, uh, from Latin America, we didn't get any complaint on the Alcatel yet, nothing, nobody says anything. There were just uh, eight pieces of feedback from Poland. Uh, one was on uh, uh, losing contact, and the other seven were on phone restarting, you know, and phone not working. So hopefully it will it will get solved soon. Um, yes, and besides from this, what I've noticed is that uh, we see less. I I think we see less English feedback. You know, so from uh, from English speaker users. Um, I I don't have a theory yet why this is happening. I was kind of enjoying the English feedback because it was like a bit more techy. You know, it was techier than than other. Uh, for other markets, but uh, yeah, I don't know why. I enjoy it too. It's the only one I can read. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just getting lost between the, because like the volume of uh, the feedback we receive from Latin America increased so much. Maybe it's just this. I have to double check it and see in absolute numbers. Yeah. Great. Great perspective. Thank you for that. Anyone else? reading feedback and seeing anything that we should uh, dig into further. All right. People are happy they have flash in their cameras. You know, oh, they're yeah. very enthusiastic about it. Yay, flash and cameras. 
Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Said the resident photographer. <laughs> I never use flash, so that's fun for other people. Yeah, I'm, I'm for working with. The, I'm working with a uh, with another Mozillion up here in Seattle to to try and make a flashlight app that actually uses that that back right. flash cam uh, the flash of the camera as the flashlight. Uh, unfortunately, that's a uh, it's a piece that's you need to have a certified app application to use it. So we're gonna try to dig in and figure out how we can create that and then get that up on the store. Oh, you mean turning on the flash is a privileged API? Okay. Yes. <laughs> that's very cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, great stuff. Uh, Firefox for Android update, Roland? Uh, Firefox 25 is great. We still are waiting for KitKat for the Nexus devices. And we'll see if we find anything once it gets to a more broader release. Uh, Firefox 26 articles are done, thanks to Michael Verdi. Um, of course, it's localization time for Firefox 26 articles. Firefox 27, I don't think we actually have to write any edits, do anything. But, but there's an etherpad that I link to. And I would love it if you would double check my research. Um, and I guess we'll start Firefox 28 <laughs> research. Uh, soon, why not get ahead of the game, especially with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up? Why not? Other than that, uh, we have an exciting 2014. Uh, hopefully, we'll have more partnerships to announce in addition to Kobo in 2014. I have no idea when, but they're in the works. Great. Very exciting stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Um, let's see, anything else? Yes, We've had a couple escalations. Thank you for. Yeah, that you mentioned there. them. You mentioned them already. Um, it, there's, I think the call log migration error has been fixed, but we're waiting on partners to go ahead and distribute that fix. Uh, it's up to them to decide if they want to do a dot one release or wait until one dot two comes out and, and get that fixed. Uh, and I think we're the the update for the. Alcatel One Touch 1.1 in Poland has been uh, rolled back, and uh, they're waiting for a fix for that before they uh, put it back out again. Yes, and that 938360 links to there's there's a comment in there where I link to a separate bug, where um, uh, Naoki asked me to file a separate bug for the restarting issue. Okay. Um, because the first issue is the contacts, and then there's a second issue about restarting. And then there's this other thing where people get this weird channel 50 name of city bracket. In brackets, the name of their city, like they'll get channel 50 Krakow um, message after the call. So maybe this is something that, I don't know, I'll put that info into the bug. Um, as soon as I get out of my meetings today, because I have a bit more detail from some users. But there is at least a third bug for the restarting and then possibly a fourth one for this weird message that people sure. are getting. Um, but but 1.1 has been rolled back in Poland, correct? I believe so, yeah. That's what we heard from the, our account manager today. Okay. I read that. Joe, right? Yeah. Um, and I um, sent a message out to the to our contact at um, at TCL, and I don't think I heard back on um, if they have reports of this uh, center. She she reported <laughs> back. She was asking for more information from her. Uh, from her contact, so. Okay, great. And um, I didn't mention to the to to the D, our DT contact. Um, all right. So thanks for that update. Um, uh, Ralph, is this an update for you from you about the phones in Brazil, or is this from last week? 
Um, yes, uh, I added this uh, this update. Um, it's still uh, I've been I've been looking at the feedback, and it's still really hard to get phones uh, in a lot of parts of Brazil. Uh, even some of the stores in the in the big cities uh, are still a little bit hard to uh, to find. Um, and there's been a few different delays. Uh, people said that uh, there's been some shipping delays and uh, different issues. Uh, but so for online orders, uh, for online orders and especially uh, stores, uh, stores it's even harder. Uh, there's people in the south of Brazil and uh, in the center of Brazil, north of Brazil, uh, who are not able to get the phones at all, uh, either through online or through the store. Um, And uh, but Marcia Zikan, uh, she's been recently hired for, uh, with Mozilla, uh, and she's that's one of the things that she's been working on is uh, trying to coordinate the uh, the sales part of it and make sure that uh, that there are phones to sell uh, and also that the uh, the stores are showing the proper um, advertising and banners because uh, that was also. Uh, not very, uh, not very visible in the stores in Brazil. Uh, so, sorry to be so uh, so windy, but uh, that's probably one of the reasons why maybe the feedback in Brazil started off slowly and maybe it's starting to build up now. So, yeah, just hoping that they get available for everybody in Brazil. Well, obviously. they will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As I keep telling people, this is the calm before a storm uh, for us. So it's we're we're just starting. I think it is a distribution thing, and it's a little slower than um, we expected. But um, but I think um, we can see already. We're starting to get more questions in the forum. You know, just like not one every other day. Now we'll get one every day uh, or two. Or what? We have three questions in the forum yesterday on Brazilian Portuguese, and then as Hermina mentioned. We can start to see the the comments coming in for Portuguese in input. So, and yeah. Ralph, this is both devices are are not showing up in the stores. Yes, uh, the Alcatel was even more difficult to find because they had to do a refresh. Uh, they pulled back some devices and uh, refreshed them again. Um, but in a lot of parts of Brazil, uh, it's yeah, they're they're not able to get it. And actually, some uh, in some stores. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, the the salespeople don't think they know about a uh, Firefox OS device. Um, but, not, no. yet. <laughs> uh, not yet. But it seems like the feedback that we are getting, there are quite a few people sort of like, yeah, it was worth the wait. Uh, mm -hmm. so, yeah, definitely. Uh, people are very excited to, to get it. Um, all right. Awesome. Great updates, everyone. Um, I appreciate all your hard work on all of these projects and um, bringing what you're doing to this meeting to share with all of our contributors. Thanks to all the contributors working extremely hard to answer all the questions in Spanish uh, and Polish yeah. and Brazilian Portuguese. You guys are amazing. Do always feel free to escalate back to us um, anything that you can't answer, anything that is um, challenging, hostile, whatever, we're here for you um, to support you and help you in any way that you can um, in the way that you support your community of Firefox OS and Firefox for Android users. So, thanks. We will, uh, thanks to Air Mozilla. We will see. Yay, Richard. Uh, yeah, Yay, at the same time. <laughs> same place next week. We'll just be getting ready for the American Turkey Feast. And um, so uh, put your, in next week, put your um, updates into the same ethopad. We'll use the same one next week. Okay. And you'll po post the wiki page where you're going to put this? Yes. All right. Yeah, I will or SatDev will. He's going to do the migration, I guess, for us. Thank you. Rachel, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.